Hello everybody and welcome back to your favourite FIFA series on YouTube, it's Be A Goalkeeper episode 4. And at the time of recording this we have just hit 1800 subscribers and I cannot thank you all enough. It's been crazy how much the channel has grown in the last few months. We're still trying to hit 2000 subscribers by the end of the year so don't forget to subscribe, turn your notifications on, hit the like button and let's get into this episode. So as a team we are struggling a little bit at the moment, we're currently sat at 9th position but a couple of wins are going to push us all the way into the promotional spots. But the first game of today episode is against Newport County and we're actually at home for once they have a kickoff but they lose the ball pretty quickly try passing the ball forward but he loses possession and we get the ball back a simple pass to the striker he leaves the defender in his dust hits it low and beats the goalkeeper as well one minute 34 seconds into this game and that could well be the quickest goal I have ever seen maybe in the world that is rapid from Omar that is crazy how quick that is and the defender is just on the floor crying because he gets left in the dirt doesn't even look back to check on him and he finds the bottom corner perfectly keeper no chance and what a start to this game moving on to the fifth minute Newport get their first chance of the game opens up nicely for him but look at that for a save left-handed I added a little roll at the end of the save to add a little bit of flair to it it's a pretty good save I'm on the move I never actually set my feet properly but I do manage to get my hand out and push it out wide for a corner again now Newport on the attack look at the space opens up for him hits at the near post but I am there using both hands to keep it out my defender here makes an absolute mess with this one they get the ball off he tries chipping me not today indeed but once again just for half time they do find the back of the net 45th minute it's a good goal i tried predicting that he's gonna go to near post and i'm all wrong footed and once again i made myself look stupid i do not react at all it's just it's hard to predict from this angle the space opens up nice for him i take a little step to my right then go back to my left that catches me off guard when he hits the ball into that side net it's a good finish but i should be doing a load better in that position so we score at the beginning of the half they score at the end of the half so we go into half time 1-1 all level there's still a whole lot to play for in this game we're the first ones to make a standout opportunity in the second half across to the edge of the box Omar lays it off and then one more pass in the box he finds the back of the net at the near post it's Barden with the goal I have no idea where he is playing I don't know if he's right mid or right back number two gets a little boxing practice but I think that's probably a right back overall it's a good team goal starting on the left side the cross is a little bit dodgy but Omar touches it down beautifully and then the layoff I thought it would have been too many passes a bit like Arsenal trying to walk into the back of the net but we do get it in the back of the net it's a good finish with lefty keeper looks a bit silly but there we are 2-1 up now Newport striker tries to catch him off guard with a quick strike but I'm there the defender is kind of in my way it's actually Senzela if you know you know who that is but look out for a save I'm actually moving to my right but I react quick enough and then I get subbed off how do I get subbed off with a 6.8 rating I made four saves only conceded one goal and we draw the game Ward comes on and concedes two goals it is ridiculous I'm fed up with this team FIFA EA hate me or maybe it's just my manager but either way we have to move on to the next game I'm starting it against Rochdale away from home and it only takes three minutes for us to get an opportunity it's Omar again he finds the back of the net three minutes ten seconds into this game ridiculous he loves a fast start to a game one nil up already it's crazy how quick we start these games again just runs off the defender holds it up beautifully lays it off to Omar he hits it low and hard past the goalkeeper once more on his lefty this time he is a top goal scorer in the league at the moment he's on his way to that golden boot if he keeps performing like this 10 minutes on the clock and we're attacking down the left hand side it's Eastman with the strike and he finds the back of that as well making it 2-0 doubling our lead captain fantastic with a belter the left side of our team is doing pretty well now they're taking tips from the right side the ball gets lost across straight to Eastman's feet he takes a little touch out and hits it as quick as he can keeper is nowhere near it to be fair to the ball bounces as well it's a cracking strike keeper does make an attempt for the ball but his arms aren't quite long enough two nil up and this game is going very well for us now this time the right side is getting involved a little left across the ball hits it at the keeper the keeper fumbles it but he finds the back of the net with the rebound You're never gonna catch me. You're wasting your time. 13 minutes into this game and we're already three nil up the keepers had a little bit of a bear the first save is a pretty good one but it falls perfectly back to him and look at that he's never going to miss from there the keeper could have possibly saved it but he's on his hands and knees what are you doing there he's begging please but the goal goes in anyway still only 20 minutes on the clock and we're on the attack once more a little turn and a shot and the keeper has fumbled the bag big time how has he let that in Enzo has no right to score from that angle he's not even facing the goal there's a defender between between them as well it is ridiculous how the keeper has let this in look at this just hold up the defender then think stuff it I'm gonna hit it no right the keeper 
he has to take the blame for that one. Defender doesn't really close down the angle too well, but the goalkeeper is at full blame for that. Rochdale finally decided to turn up for this game to take a little half shot, which wasn't really troubling anyone an easy enough catch but now we're on the attack again this time the keeper does make a pretty good save gets across the line nice and quick but we're going to the half time interval 4 nil up we have destroyed Rochdale in the first half let's hope it continues into the second with only three minutes played in the second half Rochdale gave a penalty away and it's a brutal tackle to be fair look at this just crunches him in the back, hits the floor pretty hard. So who is it stepping up? It's Beauty Man with the penalty, hits it straight down the middle. What is he doing, man? What? Then he acts surprised that Keeper saved it. It's a poor penalty, what are you doing? And then we concede, I lose my clean sheet just like five minutes later. Very disappointing. This game could have been put to bed, but no. Beauty Man decided to be a bit fancy and try going straight down the middle. Quickly celebrating like he's just won the World Cup for some reason. You're still three goals down. I don't know what you're doing. Get the ball, mate. But the goal is pretty much exactly the same as the one we conceded in the first game. Once again, I step to my left and he finds that side netting to the right of me. Now only 10 minutes left of this game. We have a little through, but he takes a little touch out, hits it across the keeper and finds that top corner somehow. I have no clue how he has scored from there. The goalkeeper looked like he had all the angles covered, but he gets chipped by the looks of it. We we'll see better from this angle. The through ball is timed perfectly. The run is as well. But look how he hits this ball. The keeper just does a weird animation. He does get chipped pretty much. Comes off the line a little bit too much. But there we go. 5-1 up. And again, we are still not done. Over top through. But he hits it. And he whiffs it completely. Had a bit too much confidence. And then I get subbed off once more. I only had to make one save. I conceded one goal. And I get subbed off. But this time, Ward doesn't concede. So the game ends 5-1. And now we move on to the next game against Northampton. Hello, it's me. Hey look, it's me. I have my own Tifu finally. I really did not mean to like rhyme there, but anyway, we move on to the game. I left this bit in to show you how quick I am. Look at that for a save. Could have gone out for a corner, but I save it on the line. But now the first proper opportunity does come to Northampton. Look how close it is to going in just past the post. Now we're on the attack on the right side of the pitch. A little pass across the box hits it and the keeper misses it. Surprisingly, the ball is hit straight at him. He just falls to the floor dramatically, concedes the goal. We're 1-0 up. Who is it? Thomas again. He scored a few this episode just look how well thomas does to hold the ball up it waits his time as well the defender runs off him he hits it hard but the keeper he should be saving that all day long there's nothing more he has to do than just stand there but he chooses not to and just drops to the floor doesn't even put his body in the way he falls like weird angle sideways but here we go unfortunately we hit the post it comes off the goalkeeper as well but the defender is there to cover him and again we're all over northampton again omar has loads of time in the box hits it low but the keeper does save it this time and that is where the first half ends one nil up we should have scored a few more but one nil is not too bad. Northampton have struggled against us in the first half. Let's see what they do in the second. They do get the first opportunity. Once again, he drills it past me, low and wide. And now they turn up the heat a little bit. Another opportunity. Defender blocks it off the other defender's head. Easy enough for me to catch it. Our right side of the attack boss in this game into the box once more. A little spinning shot, but the keeper does make a good save this time. I don't know why we love that spinning shot. Once again, the right side of our attack is putting all the work. A little pass across one more, and he hits it first time. He finds the back of the net, doubles the lead, 2 0. Could this be game over? Northampton haven't done anything this second half either. The run, look at the pace of him. Just cuts back, a little layoff again. This time, no spinning shot, just hits it normally as you like. Easy goal. Keeper doesn't really stand a chance to be fair to him. It's close enough to him to tease him a little bit, but he's nowhere near the ball. Omar was celebrating before that ball even went in, and then I get subbed off again. I had nothing to do the whole game. This is ridiculous now. I'm getting punished for the other team for being bad. We do win that game though, 2-0. Now we move on to the last game of the episode against Grimsby Town, away from home. And I'm hoping I can see this game all the way through. I think it's been one or two games that I've finished all 90 minutes. But Grimsby on attack early on, hit a near post and I fumble as well. I have no idea how I've not saved this. I've got a good hand to it, but it wasn't strong enough. My floppy fingers have let me down once more. Down the right side, it's whips it into the box, hits it with a decent amount of power. I'm there, I covered the angle pretty well, but I think I moved to my right a little bit too much. You'll see, this is the perfect angle. No, I cover it pretty good. I just fall backwards, fingertips flopping around everywhere. 1 0 down already, it's crazy. More things going against me here. I dish the ball, like I thread the needle between two players. It goes out for a throw, and I lose some rating as well. And from that, they get an attack. Grinsby do hits it through the defender. I make the save though, out for the corner. But Grinsby is all over us again, and they make it two in the 24th minute. I think he mishit the shot here. It fell perfectly to the player who scored earlier. I don't even know his name, but it's a good goal. I don't stand a chance for this one. But from this angle, he dishes it into the box, hits it. I think it's a 
shot. It looks like a shot. Maybe it was a pass. Maybe he meant it all along. But it's Orsley. Orsi? Orsi? Orsi boy? He scores it. Doubles his goal for today. Doubles the lead. We do get an opportunity. But look at that for a save from their goalkeeper. But we're back on Grimsby attacking us. This time hits it straight at me. I make a bit of a meal of it. And I dish it out by accident. I push the wrong button. Lucky not to concede another goal. It's all gone wrong for me today. And our strikers have not put their shooting boots on. A wayward shot this time over the bar. But it's still only 2-0. We can come back. Half time is here. Second half has kicked off. But two goals. We can definitely come back. And we start off on the right side of the attack again. Look at the pass across. On the penalty spot nearly. But the keeper makes a fantastic save. Not much power behind the shot. But Grimsby again. And he gets his hat trick in the 57th minute. Aussie scores. That's two hat tricks I've conceded already in this series. And I'm just disappointed with this one. I have no idea how I haven't saved it. The shot isn't even that good. Hits it first time. I should be saving it. I'm flapping at it. I just miss it literally by an inch or so. Hits it first time. There I am. I don't really set myself. Put my hand up. Miss it completely. Concede the goal. 3-0 down. Rating 5.4. And you can tell we're getting frustrated. A long range effort. Nowhere near. Keeper doesn't even try for it. We are making a few opportunities but can't quite score from them. And then I get subbed off. It takes me up to the 83rd minute. Why would you not sub me off early? I had such a poor game. But we do get a goal apparently. 88th minute. Still another loss. But now I have to do a photo shoot for a sponsor. I get 43 grand for that. I'll take that all day long but now we have come to the end of the episode i hope you did enjoy if you did don't forget to leave a like and subscribe turn your notifications on and as always look after yourself stay safe and i'll speak to you next time goodbye